Hi, and welcome to the Secret Hit Songwriting Formula. If you're new to the channel on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. Or if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to like this page. We do weekly videos here showing you how to recognize the patterns found in hit songs because there is a secret hit songwriting formula. All hit songs that have become hits on the radio, past and present, have followed certain patterns embedded within the compositions in order to become commercially successful. And we show you how to find those patterns and use them in your own songs here. So today we're going to be looking at an old Blink-182 classic, All the Small Things. And this one follows the formula of twos. Uh, again, the formula of twos is the most common of these secret formulas that we teach here. It's not something talked about in other songwriting books, though. And it involves the concept, once again, of self-similarity. That is to say, the part contains the whole, and the whole contains the part, okay? So it's very mesmerizing. And in this case, the part that we're talking about is a two-note rhythmic grouping, just a simple grouping of twos, okay? And it's got to be self-similar in that we're going to find a two-note hook in all significant song sections, both the blue, which is uh, the verse, the green, which is the pre-chorus, and the black, which is the chorus. All three of these song sections are going to have a self-similar two-note rhythmic hook. So the song starts off with all the small things to care. Truth brings. We're just labeling the simple two note rhythmic groupings. They're very easy to tell because they're separated by little rests, creating neat little motifs. All the small things rest. True care rest. Truth brings. Real easy to identify. I'll take one lift. You'll ride. Best trip. Wow, so far in that first half of this verse, they've all been perfect twos, no deviation. It goes on. Always, I know you'll be at my show. This is my symbol here for insignificant syllable. And that just means it's an extra note that doesn't belong in the two note rhythmic groupings. But since you'll be rest, da, da, my show occurs where the other two note rhythmic motifs would normally be, so that gets the one, two, and at is insignificant. And then he goes on watching, waiting, back to the obvious two notes with the rests in between. Commiserating, again, that even though there's that extra syllable in commiserating, we're just gonna mark that one as insignificant because come and rest, da, da. That's where these two would normally be as they were in these places in the verse. Okay, so wow, in the verse, pretty clear and obvious here that this is a two note hook. It's always dividing into two notes. Bum, bum, rest, one, two, rest, one, two, rest. One, two, okay? Even when they throw in the extra syllables, they're still following that basic accent pattern. Always rest, I know rest, you'll be rest, my show. So it's still following those accent patterns, even though it's just dribbling in the insignificant syllables in between following the two-note accent pattern. And coincidentally, look at that. If you add up insignificant syllables, it's another two. So if we just added up all the syllables of the verse, including those, it still comes out to a perfect two in the verse. So there you go. That means it's setting up our subconscious mind for a two note hook in the next significant song section. And when our ears hear that two note hook, it's very satisfying as if we've known the song all along and they're expecting to hear that two note hook. So it seems like we already know the song. So in the pre-chorus written in green, they go to say it ain't so. I will not go, turn the lights off, carry me home. Look at that. Perfect two note hooks, no stray syllables in that section whatsoever. And it's still using a two note hook, it's just kind of speeding up the two, the two notes and grouping them together instead of putting spaces between them. In the verse, we have spaces between them. All the rest, small things rest. Now they're just going, taking out that rest in between and looping the two together. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Pretty clever, easy way to accomplish a little variation 
with a different kind of two, which is also essential, but still following the formula of two is very essential and very catchy. Okay, so two of the significant song sections, verse and pre-chorus, have followed a two-note formula. That means our chorus must also follow a two-note formula. Chorus in here, real simple. Na 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 na. Oh, perfect two. Na 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 na. Perfect two. No stray syllables there. And there we have it. Even our chorus follows a perfect two note rhythmic phrase. So all significant song sections have followed a two note rhythmic hook. It's very clear and obvious to the ear, and we can also add it up syllable by syllable. Therefore, the formula of twos is accomplished. If you need more help with this, please visit www.secrethitsongwritingformula.com. We have the only book in the world there that gives away all of these patterns that can help you write songs that have the patterns necessary to become hits because your songs will follow the catchy, universal, timeless formulas that have been used throughout the decades. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.